pushing. You must have saw these kind of guns. These are basically the gel blaster and it can start from like $26 and can go up to like $1000 even more which is very expensive. So what you do as a 3D printing enthusiast who has 3D printing skill? Well, you design your own thing and this is what we're gonna do in today's video. So let's just do that only. So that design didn't really work well so what we gonna do we gonna so I came up with a new design and this is gonna be more stronger instead of that motor we're gonna use this one this big size drill machine which is enough which has enough power to make a hole in the metal piece and instead of, instead of that kind of auger we're gonna use this auger well this is the same thing but instead we're gonna use this 3mm metal rod in order to provide it enough strength to withstand the pressure inside the barrel of those Orbeez or whatever kind of pressure it's facing and we're gonna stick it with the super glue so that it just sticks properly with the metal rod because that metal rod we're gonna put it in the drill machine to make it spin and this is the holder that i've created i know it's not fitting good because of the layer shift so well anyways and these nuts are not looking good i know because uh, like all the screws are over uh, in my stock so i have to use like this one these are the left one that i'm using and I'm gonna use this 6mm long nuts and bolt in order to make in order to make the barrel stick with the drill machine basically so you can see this is a finished product it looks something like this I would say looking pretty good what you say comment down below and now it's time I think it's time to put this that auger into this and I know the screw is like little coming out because it, it was kind of too long and I have to tie it so anyway I'll do it later but I'll say this is strong enough and I know it's the look is not good but everything is gonna be awesome so now it's time to put the auger into this drill machine and we're gonna make let me just expand a little bit and put this metal rod inside it this is what i was saying to put the super glue otherwise the metal rod will be rotating and rock and the auger will not be so that is why i was saying to put super glue some on it and now you can see it is done and our gun is almost ready but this is the last thing we need to put a magazine it's a bottle and we're gonna fill it with the Orbeez and you can see there's a hole in the cap basically in order to like easily remove it and put it, it again after filling up with the Orbeez so you can see it's completely done and let me just give you a wide angle view of this so you can see the wide angle view looking good I would say what you think about the design you can comment down below and I think it's my second time I'm saying this so let's just test this machine so here I'm outside I'm not gonna do it in the room otherwise it's gonna be super dirty and mom, my mom gonna beat me so so you can see i filled the water with the orbeez and yeah i would say it didn't meet my expectation press so you can see it just i think i should have put the nozzle in front of it in order to throw it properly so you can see the, the last one gone little far but in the starting it just didn't done well so i have, should have put the nozzle in front of it in order to throw in order to get up some little more range but anyways if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and on this channel i'm just do this raw experiment whether things gonna work or not with the help of 3d printing so if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and share thanks for watching